everybody, Big V here. Today we're talking teams. It's Viral Workman and we're talking about how to build and how to scale a successful real estate team. A lot of people think it's about the numbers or it's about the tactics or it's about hiring the right people. While all those things are true, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to create a culture of productivity, how to set clear vision and understand where we're going as a team and where your individuals wanna go and how you as a leader can help them get there. And then I'm gonna show you what we track, how to track it, and I'm gonna give you some free resources that'll make all of this easier for your real estate team. So are you ready? Look down at your seat, see if there's a seat belt, strap in, buckle up, and get ready, because let's build a successful team. Every team begins with an intentional creation or a business plan where you sit down and you build a vision of what it is you want to create. It might be, I want to sell more homes, I want to earn more income, I want to help more people. Whatever that is to you, you as a business leader have the ability to determine what it is you want to create. Most people get into business because they believe there's more opportunity by working as an owner of a company or a team leader than there is by being an individual. That opportunity means that there's more income to be earned and you can help other people be successful as well. One of the greatest things that I've learned by coaching very successful team leaders is that the greatest leaders aren't focused so much on what they wanna create, but they spend time understanding what the individuals on their team really want to accomplish in their life. They do this by building a vision board. And I'll tell you what happens when you build a vision board is you sit down and you create a culture that says, okay, every year we're going to all determine what we'd like to accomplish in our lives this year. It could be a trip to Disneyland with the kids. It could be a new bike. It could be, I want to be able to have date night every weekend, or maybe I want to go on a different vacation with my spouse or go on wine tasting in California. Whatever those things are that you want to accomplish and have, we encourage you to sit down with your team members and have each one of them build a vision board. Our job as leaders is to understand what's on the vision boards of the people we lead and then really think about how we can pour into them and help them accomplish everything on their board. There's no greater joy than at the end of the year looking at your vision boards and having your employees or your team members stand up in front of the group and talk about how they got their bachelor's degree or how they were able to get their new car, their new Sony PlayStation, or they were able to buy something for their children or be able to get a new certification. People have goals and aspirations and visions and things that they'd like to accomplish that they've never thought was possible until they worked with you. And so the first thing I'm going to encourage you to do as a leader, if you really want to build a successful team, is not only have and share your own vision, but create an environment environment where your team members can share their vision and then help them get it. I remember just a couple of years ago when we did vision boards for one of our teams in Texas, the team came up and one of the gals, a buyer's agent on the team, had a bright orange Harley Davidson on her vision board. And I remember thinking, you ride motorcycles? And I asked her the question. She says, not only do I ride motorcycles, but I always ride on the back and I want my own. I want to be able to earn enough money that I can buy my own orange Harley. Now, I loved it at the end of the year when she rode in on her orange and Charlie Davidson on video and posted it all over social media, thanking her team leader for creating an environment that allowed her to buy her own orange Harley. We've had so many employees at Workman Success Systems buy homes or start families or do things they didn't think were possible because they didn't have the resources to be able to do it. But by knowing that that's what they wanted, I mean, after all, we are a real estate company, we were able to help them figure out a clear path forward. Having a vision board is so much fun. Let me give you just a few steps or a few things that make it easy when it's time to build your vision board. And then I'm going to give you a free download that will kind of outline the things you need to put together when you're going to do a vision board planning session. First of all, we have people build vision boards to set their goals and they visualize what they want to achieve. And then in the context of leadership, they have different purposes. You want to provide a clear roadmap. What we like to do is bring magazines or things you're interested in. And we want to make sure all the materials are there to build the vision boards. There's actually vision board software and vision board apps and things you can download to make it even easier. But you just create the environment where everybody gets together and shares some pizza and maybe some sodas and they start sharing what their dreams are and everybody builds their vision boards. One of the coolest parts at the end of the vision board session during your team retreat is they get to share and describe what all the things on their board are and why they're important. One of the greatest team building events you can do as a leader is a vision board day with your team because now it brings people together on a more personal level and the team members are helping each other and holding each other accountable to do the things that are necessary for them to be able to accomplish the things on their vision board. Your mission, your vision, and your value. The core values are another part of building a highly effective and high-performing team. There's a whole activity that you 
can go through and building your core values. I'm also going to give that to you as a free download. There's a couple of books that I love reading in preparation for setting up and building our core values. The first one is Ogmandino's The Greatest Salesman in the World. Ogmandino talks about the 10 scrolls or the 10 principles that if you follow will help you become the greatest salesman in the world. It's really not about being a great salesman. It's about being a great human and being a great person and creating a great environment. I'll persist until I succeed. That which gets measured gets done. I'll laugh at the world. I'll be the master of my emotions. I'm nature's greatest miracle. Each one of these values, when thought through, could be a good starting place to develop your own core values for your team. Another book, one of my favorites, is the, called The Traveler's Gift. And you can download that. I'll put links in the video where you can download these books. They're 10 or $12 on Amazon, easy to get access to. As you read The Traveler's Gift, it's about a young man who goes on a journey. It's a parable about having the greatest things in life. And he attributes and he, he then attaches himself to these values that help him become a better person. Those are the value systems that a lot of teams use in creating their own core values. So first, we come up with our mission. Then we share our vision. We help our people on our team share their vision. Remember, our job as leaders is to help them get everything they want out of their lives. What amazing concept that is, that I'm going to get everything I want out of my life by helping others accomplish the things they want in theirs. Such a cool concept and a different way of looking at leadership. The third thing is simply this, is it's one thing to have a vision and it's one thing to have a mission. It's another thing to have execution. I am not a big believer in in the concept of the secret, where if you put it out in the universe, then it's just gonna happen to you. I don't buy into that. I believe that if you put it out in the universe and you create a vision board of something you want, then you break down and you write down everything that needs to be measured and everything that we have to do in order to get it, and you go out and make it happen. You don't put it out in the universe and wait for the universe to give it to you. You put it out in the universe and then you go track it down. You hunt it down and you make it happen for you. I'm not a believer in this whole concept of just hope and wish it happens. Remember, that which gets it's measured gets done. So we created what's called the Daily Success Habits Tracker. The purpose of the Daily Success Habits Tracker is to track two things. Number one, in the left-hand column, and I'm going to put it on the screen behind me so you can see it. I'll also give it to you as a free download. In the left-hand column, you write down in 30-minute increments every day, all day, everything you do. Because I've learned that awareness creates accountability. You see, right now, have you ever had a day where you feel like you're so busy and you don't know what you accomplished? It's because you didn't write down what you did. And then when you you look at it, if you look at what you did, you can ask yourself this question. Were the activities that I focused on or the things that I did in 30 minute increments, did they move me closer to the goals or the things that I put on my vision board? If the answer is no, then tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit better at choosing those activities. I'm going to focus my time on the things that give me the highest return on time away from family. So the first part of the daily success habits tracker is to measure what we do in the day. It's not so somebody else can tell you what to do. It's so you can become aware of whether or not your activities are are consistent with your goals and your vision. The second thing we're going to track is 61 points a day doing dollar productive activities. And then we do a daily huddle with our team. So every day they show up with their daily success habits from the previous day. How many points did you get doing dollar productive activities? How many calls did you make? How many conversations did you have? How many houses did you show to a buyer? How many listing agreements did you get signed? Buyer agreements did you get signed? How many closings did you have? And then my favorite part is towards the end of it, you can get a point for every door you knock on and you get points for doing one more thing one more time. It's at the end of the day when you're tired and you don't want to do anything else, you knock on one more door, you make one more phone call. Remember, that which gets measured gets done. We measure the activity so we can become aware of whether or not our activities are consistent with our vision and our goals. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to absolutely download the vision board PDF on how to build a vision board and how to create a vision board event. I'd like to give you the free download of the daily success habits tracker. And then I just want you to encourage you to do something. I want you to actually do it. If you'll track it for the next 30 days and then reach out for a free coaching consult with a workman success coach, not one of my salespeople. We'll look at your daily success habits and we'll give you input and coach you on what to do next with the information you've gathered. We love being here at Workman Success Systems. We love having you be part of talking teams. Good luck with your team. Good luck with your vision and have a blast creating vision boards with your group.